I just passed my flight planning and monitoring exam, which was the last of the ATPL theory exams for me. So that means I'm officially done with ground school, have all my papers here, and I'm really happy about that, also happy about the result. So now it's time, one last time, to look back at the last couple of months of ground school. We started off our last few subjects with flight planning and monitoring in the beginning of June and it was an interesting subject because it was mainly just a mixture of things we'd already done. There were elements of general navigation, radio navigation, of course also mass and balance and um, performance as well. So since it was one of our last subjects we didn't actually have to learn all that much that was really completely new except maybe some uh, very annoying fuel planning things. So we didn't really need all two weeks of class to, to get through the syllabus. So we had a lot of time to prepare for the exam, which was really good. However, I was vaccinated right before uh, the flight planning exam and I still had a fever and quite a bit of headache when I actually did the exam. So um, it was actually one of the, the worst exams, just feeling wise during the exam, because after about one hour into the two hour exam, I decided that I had to finish the exam somehow, because otherwise I just would at some point fall over because I just couldn't handle it anymore. And I also drank, I think, as much during this exam as I've never done before in any exam. But it also went fine since I still remembered most things we'd learned before and a lot of the things also make sense in some sort of way. So flight planning was done quite quickly and successfully. We then continued on with metrology and yeah, metrology, hmm, it's a subject that I've feared um, even before starting because I did have a, a few very very small basic metrology lectures when I went to university and I didn't really grasp the concept if I'm totally honest so I was reading it a bit and it did also seem quite difficult in the beginning but we were really lucky in that we had a really great instructor who really managed to get the point and the idea across and he also um, had a system of continually quizzing us and really making sure that we learnt something and that we didn't just study things by heart. So yeah, the four weeks of unfortunately still online uh, metrology went by pretty quickly as well I would say, um, but it was definitely a tough a tough subject to study for and also it got very very tough to focus at times because there's just an immense amount of things that you have to remember and study for in this exam and that's also um, noticeable in the score that I got in the internal exam I would have said that the internal exam went okay um, because I also didn't manage to prepare as well as I would have wanted to before the exam. So I sort of already knew that it wouldn't be great. But I had a feeling during the exam that I might pass just barely and that's sort of what happened as well. But I was glad to have it over with and to be able to just continue studying for the official CA exam and I was lucky enough to pass on the first try I would say. And then a miracle happened. With only two subjects to go, IFR and VFR communications, we were actually allowed to go back to the academy in the beginning of July. Now we had online lectures since uh, around about mid-October 
So it was a really nice feeling to finally go back to real in-person lectures. And IFR and VFR communications, funnily enough, I would say it would have been one of the subjects that would have worked best um, online since it's all about radio communication anyway. But it was definitely nice to also meet Elias in real life for the first time after spending so much time uh, with him in different subjects as our instructor. So we definitely had fun during the last two weeks of communications and communications is it's probably fair enough to say that it is the easiest subject out of all of them because a there's very few questions in the question bank and b if like me you have any experience flying online on simulators or or anything of the sort um all the phraseology and all the sort of communication rules are already known to you so it was a really nice subject to end the whole ATPL theory on because, yeah, it was nice and relaxing back at the academy and pretty great fun. And we also wrote both VFR and IFR communication exams back to back, actually also at the academy for the first time. It was our first exam with pen and paper. Quite a interesting experience as well since we got so used to just the online system of you get your result immediately and there we actually had to give in our papers and, and wait for them to be scored. But yeah, uh, great exam, very easy and a nice, nice end to the ATPL theory part. At least almost, because the last CA exam session was still to come. But before that, at the end of our communication classes, I also decided to just get uh, the ICAO English level assessment out of the way since I didn't want to be um, stuck on it before starting to fly in Spain and I felt fairly comfortable and confident in my English abilities to be able to at least get a level 4 um, so I did that and I might make a video about that in more detail in the future let me know if you're interested but uh, needless to say it was uh, an interesting experience, took longer than I thought it would and yeah I'm very happy with the results, got IKO level 6 so I also never have to do it again which is uh, definitely an added bonus. But during that time I also started preparing for the last CA exam session. But before that, I just remembered something that we also had uh, before the exam session. I'm filming this now four weeks after the fact, so uh, I, I've forgotten some things. We had, first of all, uh, each person had 15 minutes in a full flight simulator, just fooling around, really flying a quick pattern or something, just to try it out, which was a great fun. Now, if you if you have good fire, then we can action there. You remember yeah. what this means. Let's do it. Let's do it to idle. Idle. Push, push. 50, 40, 30, 20, retard, fire. So, I'm going to go to the And then we also had uh, three days of non-technical skills training, which is just a training designed to help pilots in leadership, communication, all the important and relevant non-technical skills that aren't really taught in any other part of the ATPL theory. It was also an interesting experience because a lot of the tasks we did are also very similar to the ones that are done by airlines at interviews and assessments so it was a great preparation for that as well but now it's finally time for the exam session and i once again did my exams in the reverse order of the classes so i started off with the two communications exams right away back to back 
and I was really hoping on getting 100% uh, in both of them but unfortunately I was um, a bit too fast answering one of the questions and so I only got 95 on IFR communication since it's only 24 questions per exam so one mistake is gonna cost you dearly in percentage points as well but still a great result and I was happy to get it out of the way so that I could really focus on the last two exams. Next up was meteorology and I was scared of this one, not gonna lie. Um, because I first of all didn't get a great result in the internal exam, but then also motivation and just in general energy to study was really low this last exam session. We just really punched through 10 months of intense theory and then in the last week sort of um, my energy levels were really um, close to empty so um, yeah it was tough preparing for it and I really had trouble motivating myself sometimes but I always kept sort of the goal in mind of if I pass it well now, I'm done with it and I can just move on. So I tried my best and by the end, before the exam, I was fairly confident that I would pass. I wasn't sure about the score since, like I said, it's a really, really vast topic, meteorology, and there's so many things to know. And it really depends a lot on which questions you get at the exam as well. So I was pretty nervous doing the exam at the TKA, but in the end it worked out fine. I definitely didn't have a time issue. I finished within 50 minutes or so of the two hours. And whilst it is my lowest score on any ATPL theory exam, um, and the only one under 90%, unfortunately, I was still happy to get it out of the way in a relatively good, good way, I would say and I was really happy to only have one exam left which was flight planning and monitoring. And of course the same thing happened again, my motivation to study for it was not brilliant and I even postponed it by a day in the end to try and get a few extra hours uh, on that day in with studying but yeah, in the end I sort of realized that I still remembered most most things anyway from the previous subjects. So I decided that I could probably risk not doing the entire question bank, especially not doing all the calculations and everything. And just focusing on the new things like fuel planning, trying to understand that and also remember all the rules. And then I went to the exam and also got a bit lucky since I didn't have any really long or tricky questions, um, at least in my opinion, other people might disagree. So I was really happy with the results I got in the end and was especially happy to have finally finished all of the ATPL theory, all 14 exams at the authority. And in good time as well, because actually the day after I already had to have packed up my entire apartment in Lithuania and fly back to Austria and that's what I did that's where I'm sitting right now as well and in the last couple of weeks I also went to visit Yeda already once to search for apartments and that was also an interesting experience I might go into detail more in the next video I'm now flying to Spain or rather even moving to Spain within the next couple of days so it's all very tightly packed and speaking of packed i'm in the middle of packing everything myself so that's what i'll go back to now so thank you very much for watching as always if you have any questions or any feedback just let me know in the comments or somewhere on social media i'll try my best to respond thank you very much for watching see you next time